I'm going to erase that and show you what happens when the letter Ya wants to go to work and have some fun. We're going to start it again with the letter Ba, Boo, or B, or Ba. Well, we found out if we did the circle like this and brought a tail down that it was a wow and it said boo. But what would happen if instead we had a ya yeah and it came down like that? Well, that's when we'd have a Kesra and it would be a B. Pronounced B. B-E. B. What would happen if we put this ba and then put an aleph? You remember the aleph has that one little leaf all by itself up there? Just kidding. But look, that becomes ba. Ba. Because the aleph gives an A sound to the letter before it. And now we learned what happens when this doesn't make a sound, but he adds sound to the one before it. Remember I told you that when Hamza was working with this guy, he can be an a uh, or an it. Or he can have a fata and be a, uh, or he can be an e, or he can be a u. There are many things that this olive can do, but one of the things he does is add value to the letter before. So if I want to say ba real long, I can make this ba like this, an olive, and another olive, and say ba, ba. I guess you could keep making olives. Like that and say, ba. <laughs> but this gives you an idea that the Aleph can add value or length of time to the pronunciation of the letter before it. Now I want to share with you something else. Remember now, the Ya can connect to anybody to his left. So he doesn't have that same thing that Wow does. That's why you don't notice him. You see him turn into a stem like this. He blends right into the family and moves right on down the line with everybody else. So you don't notice him in here like that because he's part of the whole thing. Like in this word, bait. And by the way, the way it works is every other letter gets a sound. Not always, but in this case, this one gets ba. This gets a sakun. Uh-uh. What's a sakun? Sakun means don't pronounce it, but give it some value anyway. This is bait. Bait. House. Bait. House. Now, so that you'll understand, what's happened here is, the ya added something back to the ba. So the alif can add something. The ya can add something. And the wow can add something. This is ba, this is b, and this is boo. Ba, b, boo. And all we did was put another little wow up there and we called it dumma. This is the Kesra because of the Ya here. Whenever you have the Ya, it's the E sound. Like in English, when you have a Y, a lot of times it equals E. I'll show you. The letter B in English, then the letter Y. And you pronounce it how? By. By. And the same thing that you would do if you went like this in Arabic. By. Ba. Ya. By. Make sense? I hope so. Now, next thing we're going to do is show you what happens when we work with some of the other family, such as the pot-bellied family. These guys are fun. Remember Ha, this guy? Now Ha is the one that has the heavy H sound that you make when you're blowing on something. Ha. Ha! Okay? So we're going to use him and his brother, Jim, and his other brother, Kaf. Ha! Ha! Jim, Ha! But now we're going to connect them up with other letters and let's watch what happens. We'll begin with Jim. 
And what's going to happen now is he's not going to have the tail because he's going to continue in the word. So he doesn't get to keep that tail because he connects with his partner, whoever's coming up. So it's still the letter Ja, but now let's put an Aleph. So that's Ja. Ja. Now if we have a Ja and we connect with a Wow, it would become what? Ju. Because of the U sound coming out of the Wow. Ju. Ja. Ju. And you notice I'm adding the Tashkil or the helpers there to remind you that this is like Fata, which by the way looks a lot like the Aleph, doesn't it? Only leaning over on his side. That's where it came from. And this Duma looks a lot like Wow, and that's where it came from. And now watch this. One more. And which one is it? Do you remember? What is this? Is it E? Yes. So this is ba, uh, ja, ja, and then ju, and then g. And when you put the kesra under here, and that's how you can do that. Now let's take another one. Ha. But we're coming straight back so we don't drop his tail down. We'll give him the olive, and he becomes ha. Let's do another one. Only this time, let's give him the wow. And he becomes what? Who? And now let's give him the ya. And he becomes what? He. It's not he, it's he. He. Let me hear you say it. He. One more time. He. That's it. Ha. Who. He. Now, do you remember the other H that we have in Arabic? What was his name? Ha. And all he is is a circle, remember? Ha. But, when he starts out a sentence, or he starts out a word, look what he does. He puts his hand over the top of his head. Remember how he does that? How he does that? Puts his arm up over like... <laughs> like <this. laughs> Ha. Ha ha. And then in the middle, he can be like this. He can be like this. And at the end, he can be like that. So he's ha, 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 ha. Now I think he should be called the funny letter because he goes ha, 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 ha. You can look how many times he said ha, 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 in the same sentence. Now, guess what though? He can be funny another way too. He can not just say ha, ha, ha. He can also say he, 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 because you can put Kessler underneath it. That's not all. What else would happen? Well, if you put Duma over the top, you'd have who, 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 who. Now, in this case, Mr. Funny here, <laughs> the funny H, he winds up sounding like an owl. Who, 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 who. <laughs> it's a good chance for you to make some notes, too, by the way, that... When you copy this down, you can back up the program and start again. When you copy this down, take your time and be sure you get it right. Here it is again. I'm going to put this up real big so you can see. There's the ha and the wow. Who. And then another one. Followed by a ya. He. Another one. Followed by what? An Aleph. That's Ha. So that's Who. Put a little Duma up there. He. We're going to put the Kessler right there. And this one with the Aleph. That's a Ha. Ha. He. Who. Or Who. He. Ha. Now let's put them out. Put them straight across in a word. Now, if you put some sound with the wow, hua, hua, it means he is, hua, he is, 
Hua. At the end of a word, when you have him like this, that's Ha. Or it can be like this, Hu. It means that the word was talking about a male or a man, and it's saying him, he. Or could be like this, he, uh, and if you do he, uh, that becomes what? He, uh. That's who, uh, and he, uh. That means him and her in Arabic. Hua and he, uh. Him and her. Hmm. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, one more. We want to take from the stick family, from the forest, go out there and get some sticks, and let's take a look at what happens with the sticks. This is what letter? Do you remember? Oh, uh, you forgot. That's Paul, the tall letter. Paul. Paul. Hmm. What would happen if we put a wow after the Paul? Paul? Hmm. This would become poo. The difference between this one, watch now, that's a ta, and that's a wow. What's the difference between this and this? In English, I would write them the same way. But in Arabic, it's two different letters, so it's two different things. It doesn't mean the same thing, and it doesn't sound the same way. Not really. This is poo, and this is tu. Tu. And pull. So there's a difference. If you don't hear a difference, it's okay. It'll take you a little time, but you get used to that. Pull and two. There you are. Let's do another one. What is that? Do you remember what this is? P. P. It's not the same as T like this one. That's T. This is play. 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 It has almost the extra sound of play. Play and T. Now, another one is when you have like this and you go up. This is what? That's an olive. This is the ball. Whenever you add one of these helpers that gives the sound to it, what happens, not only does it give the definite sound, it extends it out by one extra count. So instead of ta, it becomes ta. Instead of te, it becomes te. Instead of t, it becomes t. Instead of t, t. Instead of te, t. I hope you could make the difference, the differential between the two kinds of ta and the different kinds of ha and ha. That's quite a bit that we've covered right here. Let's take a break, give you some time to go over what you've learned and give you a chance to work through it and give yourself a test or two and see if you can remember what these different sounds give to the letter before it. We'll take a break, give you time to work on that, and we'll be back.